Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Sucker for Love First Date. This may seem like a bit of a joke but somebody bought me this and it's Valentine's Day and we're playing it. This is what's happening. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're going to jump straight into a new date and I don't know what to expect here. It, it, this Cthulhu girls, I don't know. Eldritch gods, cosmic horrors, things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. The only thing protecting all of reality from the final coalescence of insanity and terror is the fact that the unspeakable gods wait dreaming. Their awakening under aligned stars heralds the end. Today, the stars are aligned. Damn it, come on already. Same day shipping my ass. I only have a half hour tops until the stars move out of position. I better wash my face to calm down. A year ago, I saw the face of an eldritch being in my dreams. It whispered its name to me. Lynetta. Ever since, I've been obsessed with trying to see it again. I'm not the kind of person to get addicted to stuff or spend recklessly. But I just can't help myself. There's something I have to do once I see it again. Is that the door? Thank goodness. I spent way too much money on getting this for me to miss my chance. The amount of money I've lost to scammers claiming to have the real deal is a little embarrassing. But as of today... As of today, I'll have a genuine Necronomicon. An ancient spellbook containing the dark rituals needed to contact the Elder Gods. Finally, I'll... Huh? What the hell is this? Why is it pink? Isn't this supposed to be like... brown? And bigger? It's supposed to be an ancient book covered in flesh or something. But this looks like it just came from an office supply store. No, please don't tell me. Scammed again. How much money I spent this time, I thought there'd be no chance it'd be fake. Right. No way I'm getting my money back either. The scammer is probably long gone too. Damn it. I need a new hobby. Seriously. What a strange scam though. You'd think they'd at least try to go for an authentic look. Did they really think nobody would notice that their book of the dead is Malibu pink? Wait. Is this symbol on the front embossed? Is this thing made of real leather? The pages look gilt in gold, too. And this... Wait, why'd they make a knockoff out of such high-quality materials? Oh, my computer. That's probably just the delivery confirmation message. 100% <laughs> real Necronomicon. Not clickbait, not a scam. Gone sexual? Oh no, this is like... This is like reading a YouTube title. What the? My order was delayed? It won't be delivered until tomorrow. Then what the hell is this book supposed to be? Did it get delivered to me by accident or something? There's no shipping label on the box. Stranger still, this inscription at the bottom. It's Hrathlean, the unholy language of the eldritch gods. Also, the pages reek of formaldehyde, embalming fluid. In other words, it stinks of death. Why would something so cute have such an insidious aura around it. Maybe I'll take a look inside. Okay, objective, perform the calling ritual. Lovely. Wait, I can, I can remove this Candyman poster. I can put it back again. I'm just clicking everything. I, I, the turtle. Knife. Okay, why do I get a feeling this is gonna be strange? All right. Uh, I just clicked on something. Oh my god, what is happening? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Ensure all possible light has been snuffed from the room. In your room, this means draw your curtains, turn off your bedside lamp, and turn off your overhead lights. Wait. Uh. Wait, where are the curtains? Oh. Curtains. It's the overhead light switch. There's got to be a light switch around here somewhere, right? There it is. 
Okay, and then... Alright, that's all that done. In the dark, light red fire candles. They are for your protection. The dark is dangerous. Red. Okay. Uh, find and put on your ritual necklace. Got it. Uh, yeah, I am wearing it. Uh, when all this is complete, chant Nete Afat Il Mukpesteli Relgri. Hmm. Pick and drag from the first letter to the end of the phrase to chant. I think I got that pretty close. Uh, hello. Oh god. It actually worked. She's here. A beacon of madness is towering over me. An omnipotent and chaotic avatar of world-ending calamity. Even with a year of preparation for this moment, I'm frozen in fear. For what purpose have you awoken Lanetta the Starspawn and brought about the end of reality? I can't talk. I can't even breathe. Blinding dread, choking terror, my very sanity is teetering on the precipice and looking down. No, I finally got this far. I finally have my chance. I can't perish now. The Dark One, I ask that you grant me my wish. You wish to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life. Uh, no. I wanna smooch you. Eh? What? I wanna smooch. Don't say it again, creep. Then how are you looking ah. directly at me without being driven mad? Oh, Lord help. What am I doing with my life? I'm mad with lust. Send me back. Huh? But you just got here. What, what about destroying reality as I know it? I'll do it next time. M maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. But I'll be long dead by then. Exactly. Hey, I went through all the trouble of finding this damn book. The least you could do is... Where'd you get that book? Huh? What? This? I, I found it outside my door. That moo. Always trying to set me up with someone. Moo? Who's that? Are they the one who left this funny-looking Necronomicon on my doorstep? It's not a Necronomicon. It's not? What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? God, she's cute. But what's with the sudden personality change? Does she recognize the book? Uh, well, if it's not a Necronomicon, what is it? It's a survival guide. For what? For dating me. What? Really? This thing? Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. Offerings, spells, and how to protect your sanity while performing them. I struck gold. All the money I spent finally paid off. Wait. What'd she just say? Protect my sanity? I am a cosmic entity beyond comprehension. So no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Gulp. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. You'll let me smooch you? If you can make it to the end, darling. I'm so dead. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. I'm so dead. W will you spare the world if I win that kiss? No. Oh. You knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? I feel this is a lose-lose scenario. Looks like my only two options are die or die without getting a kiss. Hmm. Well, they say if you're already eaten the poison, you might as well lick the plate. Though, if the world is going to end either way... Deal. <laughs> Let's begin the date then. Why don't you start with the Invoke the Depths ritual? Invoke the Depths ritual. Okay. 
Here we go, invoke the depths. Do not perform this ritual alone. Uh... Well, I don't have any friends. So, snuff all light from the room. Turn on your sink or shower to make the sound of moving water. Okay, what do we have? Uh, hello? Uh, you're just gonna hang there, huh? Is this the, t is this the toilet? It is. We'll just do both. I don't pay the water bill. Oh, do I actually have to do it? Do not look out your window from now on. Hmm. Oh, well, my lights have turned back on. What is this? Okay, curtains are still closed. Why does she have to read it in here? Oh, they're still going. Okay. Home sweet home. Are we... What did I just do? You brought the outer depths to us. Didn't you read the spell's name? Our connection is stronger now. Oh, there is no way this can end well. The closer you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Will I be okay? Just focus on following the book perfectly. You're good to start doing these rituals on your own, right? No, no, wait, uh, why are you leaving? I'm just feeling a little icky from the summoning. So I wanted to use your shower. Do you mind? Oh, no. Not at all. But go ahead. <laughs> Thanks. No peeking. <laughs> okay. I mean it. Don't peek. No, that seems fair. I won't. Mm -hmm. I won't peek. You're sure you won't? Positive. Alright. I'll be back in a jiffy. Is the game going to make me? I get a feeling the game's going to make me. I yet again question myself playing this game. Perform the Abyssal Mist. Do not perform this ritual alone. Let's invoke the depths. The Abyssal Mist. Okay, ensure your sink or shower is running to make the sound of moving water. Then go outside. Avoid making eye contact with that which roams the fog. They'll know if you saw them. Turn off your lights before you leave. This one isn't a warning, it'll just help lower your electricity bill. For God's sake. <laughs> Alright, well, she's in the shower, right? So if I just go outside... Don't make eye contact with anyone. Gee, it looks like quiet hill out here with all this fog. Something moving out there? I love foggy, rainy days by the sea. It's like my favorite weather on the surface world. I didn't know you have a house on the water. I didn't five minutes ago. In fact, I'm hundreds of kilometers from the coast. Even the wildest of hurricanes would never flood the area like this. What terrible power is this thing capable of? Uh, there's something just so romantic about standing on a balcony during a storm. I'd hate to cut the fun short, but can we go back inside now? What's wrong, darling? Getting chilly? It feels like something's watching me from out there. We can go inside if you like, but it's not like it's any safer in there. Oh, thanks. After all, the next page in the book has an unspeakable horror on it. Oh, lovely. May as well carry on like we started. Gulp. Unspeakable horror? Some kind of monster's gonna jump out at me? You'll see what I mean. Mm, lovely. Is this my house? It is. Can I? Oh, yeah, let's... Ooh. Look at that nice lighting effect right there. Okay. Perform the unspeakable horror. Oh, no. Uh, um. But... Do I... Okay. I, I don't know how to speak it. What the hell? I can't even begin to pronounce this. Yeah, duh. That's why it's an unspeakable horror. Oh, dear. Unspeakable. Get it? As in, cannot be spoken. At least not by humans. Wait. You can pronounce this? Of course I can. I can pronounce anything. Anything? Anything. 
Oh yeah, then what's this? <laughs> what's the sheer sauce? Is it... Worcestershire sauce? I mean, close. Damn, you are the real deal. Hey, wait a minute. Those tentacles are like extra tongues, right? Then your weakness is tongue twisters. Say toy boat ten times fast. Toy boat, 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 toy boat. Show off. Okay, that seems fair. Uh How do I read this then? Eldritch mouth. Ah! This ritual will allow you to utter unspeakable incantations. Perform the ritual someplace where the gore can be easily cleaned. Like a bathroom. Where no robes or amulets have a ritual knife on your person. There is no way this isn't bad. Into the bathroom we go. Do, 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 do. Save the water bill. Alright. Magolica Yala Megpognosticumula. I can't speak this. Eldritch Mouth, huh? Maybe I should have considered the spell more carefully before casting it. If there's so much as a single scar, I might actually lose my job. Please don't let me have something freaky on my face. It's my livelihood on the line here. Okay, big breaths. Brace yourself. I'm... I'm... I'm still cute as hell. <laughs> but I thought I'd get an eldritch mouth or something. Everything seems pretty much the same. Weird. Hey. Lynetta. Yes? Mm, that was... Yep. Ah! You startled me. You, you called me! Ah, 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 ah! Who the hell was that third voice? What are you talking about? That was you! Look! She takes a hold of my hand. Whoa, hand-holding on the first date? Moving fast, but that's okay. No, look at your hands, silly. My hand? Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, what the... Give it, get it off! Quick, grab that knife from the bedroom and cut it off, hurry! Cut it off? But it's your hand now, see? Surely enough, it's not a disembodied mouth stuck to my hand. It's a very much embodied mouth, indeed. Huff, huff. Is this really my hand? What did I do to my hand? Ha, 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 Darling, are you alright? This is screwed up. I mean, I knew I'd be in harm's way, but permanent body disfigurement this early on? But, but I'm not stopping before I get that smooch, no matter what. I just gotta think positive. This isn't so bad. I, I mean, there's got to be a silver lining to this. <laughs> now I have my pick of which mouth to use when I smooch you. <laughs> Darling. Is someone at the door? This is bad. Did I get busted? A sudden shock feels like a splash of cold water that snaps me to my senses. Damn. I must have done something to give us away. Was I shouting too loudly about that knife? Did the neighbors call the cops? If someone interrupts my rituals now, the stars will fall out of alignment before I can finish. Damn it. I even picked the apartment on the top floor to minimize the number of people noticing odd sounds or smells from my room. It's the police. They're going to insist on looking around. I'm not going to be able to smooth talk my way out of a demon in my room. Either way, I need to prepare myself now. Who knows how quickly things are going to go south once I answer the door. Crap. It's even worse than the police. There's only one person it could be, and at the worst possible time. What do I do? Is it even safe to go outside right now with all the world-bending spells I've been casting? Who's that, darling? Um, probably the mailman. I'll make him leave. Uh, give me a sec. You don't look so good. Maybe I should get the door? No, I mean, no, I, I really don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Well, you're a mind-flaying goddess. Maybe it'll be too much for someone who wasn't expecting it. Hmm. I guess it's a good point. Wait here. I'll be right back. 
Yup. Missy, hey, good to see you. you I hope it wasn't too forward of me to call upon you in your own private department. Missy, she's an old money rich girl that suddenly showed up to the club I work at and started showering me with gifts. She doesn't quite understand that she's not supposed to contact me outside working hours, but it's hard to complain when she basically pays my rent. In fact, she's pretty much the only reason I could afford to buy all this eldritch paraphernalia. But best of all, she's smoking hot. If I may be so bold, I... Well, I have something special to give you. May I come in? Oh, God, yes. Oh, hell yes. Dude, there's an eldritch... Oh. Right this way, ma... Wait, Lynette is inside. I got so caught up in the moment I almost forgot. Uh, actually, now's not a good time. I think you could just uh, give it to me out here. Oh, it's not the kind of present I can give you out in the open. A present that has to be given in private? Oh man, what could it be? Heh, <laughs> heh, Wait, I almost lost sight of things again. If Lynetta and Missy meet, I'm toast. Can I really not help myself with my life on the line here? Say something, idiot. Ah, well, I can't get away right now. How about we meet up after work? I can't go out after dark. Right, I forgot her weird curfew. Why can't we just go inside? I really want to give you your present now. Darling, what's taking so long? I miss you. Oh, God. Is Lynetta coming to the door? I can hear her footsteps. Huh? Who is that? You have company over? That's just the mailman. Inside your apartment. Shoot! I got my lame excuses mixed up. Hey, what do you think you're doing? No one slammed the door in my face. No one. Oh man. She's pissed. Sorry, Missy. This is the only way I survived this. What's going on, darling? Uh, turns out it was one of those, uh, door-to-door -door salesmen. They can be really pushy, you know. <laughs> I don't want any. <laughs> want me to make them go away? No, no, I got this. You just have to be persistent. Eventually, they give up. Did she finally give up? I better smooth things over with her later, before she tries anything crazy. Especially now that she knows where I live. Better hurry through these rituals before there's more interruptions. Okay. The metamorphosis. Well, can I read this? Now I have the Eldritch Mouth. I think that's a yes. Okay. The metamorphosis. Do not attempt this ritual without performing the calling and invoke the depths. So I think we've done both of those. Proceed in total darkness. No lights, no candles. Ensure his image appears in no way in poster or tapestry. Continued on next page. Wear a ceremonial robe and ritual necklace. Wear a mask or headpiece to distort your features. Have a ceremonial knife on your person. And always remember the second step on the previous page. When all is complete, chant. Okay, so firstly, we need to remove... The post... Is that, is that a post... Why is that poster freaking out? I mean, is that... That's got to be his, right? Let's just... That's fine. We'll just take that down. Is there a picture of me anywhere else? Do I have robes anywhere? Uh... I mean, is, do, do they count as robes? They're not really robes. Do, do we have... Do we have any clothes anywhere? Where's my ceremonial robe? No? Alright, well, well, we'll try it without it. It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? It's only a ceremony. Have a ceremonial knife? Yes, always remember the second step on the previous page. Okay, let's try. That was... Oh, dear. What is that noise? I need robe. Yeah, where's the... Where's the robe? Hmm. Wait, wait, I need to turn the light on so I can see. Oh. Found it. 
Right, it's fine. Look, I got this. We're going all in. Hello, handsome. Oh no! Why is my hand turned into a tentacle? And I thought you were cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. I'm trying to respond, but no sound is coming out of my mouth. Even when I try to shout as loud as I can, I can't even manage your whisper. Something's not right. What happened to me? Uh, apparently I now have a tentacle. Remove. Oh, <laughs> of course. What? Uh, why is there now blood? That is now blood. My act is my face. Is my face now on the thing? Is that what's happening here? Oh dear. I feel badness is happening. Okay, what's the next ritual then? Ah, break up. This ritual will sever your connection, restore your sanity, hey, and return. What are you looking at? Christ! <laughs> that legitimately made me jump. Oh, Christ. Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? Is that the truth? Hmm. <laughs> Did I scare you, darling? Good. I know what page you were on. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Okay. So she must be in the room. Hmm. Let the room be well lit. Chant three times assertively? Oh man. Okay, what's the next one though? Prepare offerings? Sure, let's just dig deeper into this hole. Illuminate the room to your comfort. Collect the necessary ingredients from cold storage. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Okay, so we need a star. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Uh... To my comfort, we'll turn on the bedside lamp. And I think this is the, this is cold storage. That is a fridge. That is an ingenious idea. A, a mini fridge in a desk. I approve. Well, all in. Oh. That already smells delicious, darling. All it needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. Okay. Reach into oblivion. Okay. We're definitely going all in here. Wear a ceremonial robe and have a ritual knife in your possession. Ensure the eye symbol is here. As an eye, I'm wearing a ceremonial robe and I have a knife. Have another life form on your person? Oh no, the turtle! Alright, well, in you come. Uh... I have no idea what we're trying to achieve here. Oh no, the turtle! Um... This is fine. You? Oh, escape reality. Wait, this seems fun. You, 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 okay. You, 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 you. Do not cover your ears, you will need them. Oh, nothing is just your imagination. Well, time to escape reality. If you can read this, all reality is doomed. Once you start this ritual, complete all three pages quickly. You will be vulnerable until you finish. Do not open any blinds without windows or doors. Do not turn on any lights. Snuff any existing lights or you will attract their attention. Ensure this present. This symbol is present nearby. Okay, so... All doors closed. Lights off. I killed, I killed, I killed the turtle. I am just, I am, I don't even know what's happening anywhere. Oh wait, ensure this symbol is nearby. Let's make sure that's there. Right. 
Hey, at least my mouth looks like a normal human again. This is fine. Uh, she is coming. Ensure this symbol is present. Okay, I need a cross. Uh, excuse me. Is it that one? Nope. That one? Yep. Okay, next. If she gets into your room, it's too late. Ensure this symbol is present nearby. Okay, we need the... We need the... The cross with wings. Okay. And again, I'm just going to keep going. Until the screaming stops. Darling, what's wrong? You're pale as a sheet. Oh. I can tell by the look on your face. You've caught a glimpse of the real world now that I'm waking up. This is fine. I guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. Though, I should tell you, everything you saw and heard, it's still there. Oh, thanks. What you saw coming through your window is still coming through. Very soon, it'll be impossible to deny its presence. And even escaping reality won't protect you. If you like, I could move you to the front of the line and... And you painlessly myself. As thanks for waking me up. Oh, thanks. That's that's very kind of you. I think I'll pass. You wouldn't hear their screams anymore. Or feel that chill up your spine where that tentacle is already touching. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered... Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer, my darling? Uh. Dark communion? Okay. Yeah, I guess dark communion, huh? Do not attempt this ritual without performing prepare offering and reach into oblivion. Let the room be well lit. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the offering on your person. No robes, no necklaces. And no offering. And the room needs to be well lit, so let's turn on the light. Open the curtains, maybe? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! Forgot about that. Okay, don't open the curtains. Yep, don't open the curtains. It's told me multiple times, don't look out the window. And yet, somehow, I still decided to look out of the window. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Why does my offering now look not very nice? Oh, the turtle's back. Hmm. I think reloading a checkpoint has changed some things here. So, so it says well lit room. Wear no robes or necklaces. Have the have the offer oh have the offering on your person. Sweet. Let the room be well lit, but not opening the curtains, huh? There you go. We'll, we'll light the candles as well, sure, why not? I'm sure that won't invoke some sort of craziness. Delicious! Just perfect! I wish you could make offerings like this forever! Well, my devoted darling. There is only one last spell to perform. Pledging yourself to me. Take heart. Your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all time. The final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion. The privilege is yours alone. I may be inexperienced with human emotions, but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Okay. 
Sure, why not? I'm just gonna. I'm, we're, we're going all in. You'd think. Thank you, my love. Okay, let's just leave the ominous candles, huh? Right, so the last one is the final pledge. Have a ritual knife on your person and chant five times to fill the heart. I'm gonna die, aren't I? This, this, do I have the knife? I have the knife. Right, well, let's go. Lenetta a fa la meg nagiri. Ow. Ow. This is what we call devotion, right? That's what this is. And one more time for good luck. It's done. The last ritual. You did wonderfully. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. Oh, what a terrible shame. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you, and that's because of you. So why destroy me in all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet mortal darling. I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. You're up, my darling. You've earned it. Is it too late to back out? I think it might be too late to back out. I gotta press the big smooch button. Brace yourself, it's Valentine's Day. You know, well, you've just gotta, sometimes you've just gotta awaken eldritch gods. It's just how it goes. I cannot believe I played this at all. I hope you all enjoyed this very much. There is two more chapters to this game, and I believe there are two more eldritch beings you can go on a date with, I guess. But it, I think I'm going to be leaving it here. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.